Hey folks, back again. This is uh, tip or hint number four, and I'm gonna go over what I've discovered about trying to freeze-proof traps. Uh, if you're in the deep south or the, the far north, in the deep south, you might never have to consider this. In the far north, once things are, I mean, if we get a nice frozen spell here and the things are frozen solid, just plain dry dirt works great, or peat moss or something, but. I mean, we just have constant, it seems like freeze, thaw, rain, freeze, thaw, rain. And I've tried several different things. I've tried uh, just spray antifreeze. I've tried flake antifreeze. I've tried peat moss bags. I got peat moss. And even when you buy this, you still, from a store, you gotta dry it out. Got some peat moss. It works fairly well. I mean, it doesn't absorb moisture like crazy, it's like basic dirt. I've tried, yeah, I said, the, and then the flake wax, and I've done wax dirt. So, I uh, tried to do an order of comparison, which I like the best. The This I didn't have much luck with at all. The, uh, the liquid stuff, maybe I'm not using it right, I'm not sure. The flake wax seemed to work, but it will eat your traps alive. Especially, I mean, I, I wax my traps, but it's still, it, it tore my traps up. I still have a bunch of this. If somebody wants this, you can come and get it from me. So I'm not using, I'm not using this anymore. It'll eat your traps up. So I've tried it. I'm not a big fan of that. So a lot of you guys might love it. I don't know, but I just, I just didn't do too well with it. The peat moss, I mean, if it's nice and frozen, the one thing, it's hard to bet a trap in peat moss. I've done the thing like I think it's Robbie Gilbert show or somebody else about using nails to help bed the trap. That does that helps a lot. But the problem is if it freezes and thaws and the rain comes, it will eventually freeze on you. So it it's all right. But in my opinion, this is this is the way that I'm going. I'm going to do everything I can do. I have some wax dirt left. I made about 30 gallon last year. Gave a little bit away, and I still have some left. And I, when the freezing time comes here in Pennsylvania and I switch over to wax dirt, I'm gonna cut back on my sets and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use a little more wax dirt than I did, get a nice bed down underneath it. And I'm gonna do everything I can do to have some wax dirt because this, I still had stuff that was, some of the traps or the uh, stakes that I went to pull out that I had wax dirt by. It was still dry here in April. So it was, this stuff is, it works really well. You just gotta make it correctly. There's a lot of things online about making it. One thing, a couple things you need, your dirt has to be super dry. You need to put the right amount of wax in and make sure you have to let the wax, if you try to make this, make sure you let your wax cool off before you put it into any type of containers. The first time I tried to make it, as soon as I made it, I heated it up and got it, the, it all looked good. Put it in a five gallon bucket, sealed, thought I was doing the right thing, sealed it all up, it was still warm. I opened it up, come trap season, and it stunk. It stunk like mold and stuff. So you let the stuff cool off before you put it into any type of container. And I just let the lids loose this year. And, and I ended up, it, it worked really well. I mean, I, I didn't catch a ton of stuff this year. If you watch my videos, you know I had to cut my stuff off. This year had some issues. I'm hoping to get some more time. But I'm gonna show you how this wax dirt works. Uh, you may have seen this online before some, but I'm just gonna put a little bit out here. I got some water here. I'll turn my camera down here, hopefully. Hope that I get it on here. I'm gonna make sure this camera's focused on here. There you go, I hope you, you can see that clearly enough. I'm just gonna take some of this water. You can see that, that's just running off of there. You cannot force this water into that dirt. And the stuff just stays dry. It's amazing the way it works. It just look, it looks usually a little darker than the dirt, but doesn't matter how much water I pour on there. I've had some of these, I had one of these traps completely submerged in, under a mud puddle and that, that wax dirt was still drying there. You, 
you can just brush that off. Occasionally had a slight crust on top after it poured down rain and froze really hard. That little bit of stuff on top would freeze. But you can just flick that ice off of there and the stuff underneath, it was just good to go. It's just bone dry. This water over here hardly has any, you can't make it, you can't, you can't make mud out of it. You couldn't do it. So this is what I'm going with this year. So if anybody wants my leftover flake wax, if you can find me, you can come and have it. And so I'm gonna be on to making some wax dirt here pretty soon. So it's a, it can be a pain to make, but you'll love it in the middle of winter. I guarantee it if you make it. All right, so that's the end of this tip segment. And I hope to have a couple more coming on. Might do one on some some of the tools that I use on a trap line and maybe a couple sets, what type of sets I use. So maybe I have two more coming up. So thanks for watching.